Hello friends, today we are going to do an experiment for determining the value of acceleration due to gravity using Cater's pendulum. This experiment is a little bit tricky, so just keep patience and I am sure after 5 minutes you will be able to perform it by your own. Cater's pendulum is a compound pendulum. This is not a simple pendulum. If you want to know more about compound pendulum, then please check my video on bar pendulum. For calculating the acceleration due to gravity by a Cater's pendulum, we need a Cater's pendulum, a telescope, a meter rod and a stopwatch. So, initially we will set up the Cater's pendulum for our measurement. In the step 1, take the metal rod and balance the metal rod on a wedge and find its center point. Now put a metallic ring W at its center and make it tight. After that in step 2 you need to put two knife edges K1 and K2 at both of its end. Now we have moved to step 3. In this step you have two identical cylinders. One is made up of metal and the other is made up of wood. So, you put them on the rod as well and you can see their arrangements in the figure. Now, we have moved to step 4. Adjust W1 and W2 in such a way such that each of it is 5 cm away from the end. After that, the knife edge K1 and K2 are just below it at an approximate difference of 2 cm. This is the first arrangement with which you can start this experiment. Now you can hang this Cater's pendulum on a rigid support and observe the time for 10 oscillations. So first of all keep the metal cylinder upside and wooden cylinder downside and take the reading of 10 oscillations. Call it as T1. Now turn this Cater's pendulum upside down when the wooden cylinder is upside and metal cylinder is downside. Take this time of 10 oscillations as T2. Now you can divide this time by 10 and get the time for one oscillation. So in this way you can get another quantity T1 and T2 as the time period of one oscillation. The main requirement in this experiment is that that the difference between time T1 and T2 should be less than one second so that we get some accurate values of acceleration due to gravity. But this arrangement can give you a higher value such that the difference between T1 and T2 is large. In that case, you can shift knife K1 and K2 towards the center about 1 cm. Now note down the time for 10 oscillations each side again and then calculate the time of 1 oscillation T1 and T2. Now again you can note down the difference between these times T1 and T2. If it is less than 1 second then it is fine otherwise you can shift the knife edge K1 and K2 further to reduce this time. Finally, you will reach to a state where the time difference between T1 and T2 is of around 1 second. Now, you can slightly adjust this ring W to get this difference close to 0.5 second. Uh, this step is optional. The lower value of this time difference will increase the accuracy of this measurement. Now, when you have achieved the arrangement in which the time difference is of half second, now you can note down the time for 50 oscillations for both sides and then make a table. Now, you can write all these values in this table. Just take an example, like in case of arrangement 1, we started this experiment with 10 oscillations and noted its time period and then calculated the time for one oscillation in both cases and then the difference of their time is let us consider was two seconds then we arranged it further and got this difference to be around 
1.5 seconds similarly for the next arrangement we got it around 1 second and then after doing nth arrangement we got a time difference of 0.5 second which is ideal for our experiment now after getting this arrangement we are increasing the number of oscillations for more accuracy so now we are oscillating the skater pendulum for 50 time at both sides and then calculate the time period of one oscillation in both cases so in this way you can make this table containing the readings of Cater's pendulum just keep in mind that this final value t1 and t2 will be used in our formula to get the value of acceleration due to gravity now take this Cater's pendulum out from its stand and balance it on the on a wedge by balancing you will get its center of gravity now you can measure the distance l1 and l2 which is the distance between center of gravity and edge of knife k1 and l2 is the difference between center of gravity and edge of knife k2 now you have got uh, the values of t1 t2 l1 and l2 you can put these values in this given formula and get the value of acceleration due to gravity i have also written all these points on this single sheet you can use these points and start your experiment hope you like this video if you like this please leave comments and don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel thank you